day, ladies and gentlemen. Today on The Film Exorcist, we're going to be doing something very special. Coming up this month, my friends from The Giantess Crew will be having their big virtual meetup on the 30th. So today, I've decided to interview the great man behind the camera and the story is DJ and Miranda, one of the wonderfully gorgeous models that stars in a lot of their best videos. <laughs> so, guys, tell them about yourselves. You go first. Okay. Uh, oh, well, I'm DJ. Um, I am the producer, and I'm basically everything on the back end of the Giant 2 crew. Um, you know, I, we've been doing this about roughly about three years now. And, uh, you know, just, just excited, man. I, I love, you know, putting, you know, things together and, and making this a, a, a conglomerate. So it's been a pleasure. And I'm Miranda, one of the lovely models of the crew. Um, I love doing what I do. It's amazing coming up with these amazing ideas from these amazing people with such creative minds. <laughs> Good. Um, so I guess we'll get on to the questions. So how did you two get into the size community? Well, I, I actually brought her into it. Now, we were just, you know, trying out some stuff. Um, yeah. Miranda <laughs> is one of the original models um, that, that came with, I, I would say probably the one, one of the original five that came when we were just trying some stuff. Um, but I've been knowing Miranda for some years, man. We go way back, you know, like yeah. at, least, uh, at least about eight to ten years now, man. Right, it's been a long time. Ooh. But he's an amazing, amazing manager and an amazing friend. So it's fun working with him. It's never, you know, it's never a boring moment. All right. Um, what's your favorite scenarios? Um, I gotta say one of my favorite scenarios is when I dressed up as um, Little Red Riding Hood because <laughs> I love the costume. I thought the costume was amazing and I thought the person that came up with the idea to do it was really creative. And you, DJ? Um, to me, I think uh, the, my favorite scenario would be uh, the guy the guy is basically shrunken down from, from like a weed perspective. He smoked some weed and, and you know, he, uh, Oh yeah. <laughs> little and so that, that was my favorite part. Yeah. I think I heard a lot of people talking about that on the SizeCon <laughs> discord DMS. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's what we could, I think everybody loves weed. Let's be honest. I ain't gonna lie to you. But um, I, I think it's another creative way besides um, the, 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 the traditional, oh, drink this or, you know, the shrink ray. I think it's another also creative way. It's very modern. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to get a bit personal in this one. What's your favorite fetish around giantess or any other activity? <laughs> I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say my, I guess, I, I don't know, like, I'm weird, bro, like, I'm, like, I, I like motherfuckers to me, like, like, I'm weird, I don't know if that's better than that, but, you know, it, it, you know, that's something that I like, um, but it, I, it's not like I don't want to be degraded, I just want you to talk shit, and then I talk shit back to you, you know what I'm saying, so, that, that's, that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's outside of the giant. So that's that's just me. Hmm. Uh, I could say I I'm a little on the kinky side. I like kinky stuff, but not not too rough, you know. Like I'm not too crazy with it, but I like a little kinkiness. Hmm. Anything you guys would definitely do in the videos if you had the chance? Real life? Yep. I 
I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't shrink anybody. I don't have a vindictive against anybody. So I wouldn't shrink. I, I'm pretty sure Brandon would a couple, a couple. Of people, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I have a couple of people that I actually shrink and make my slaves. And what would you typically do to them? You say what would I do to them? Yep. Oh man, I'd, I'd have some fun. I think I'd, uh, I'd tend to eat one of them, but I wouldn't eat him right away. I'd toy with him for a little bit. And the other ones, I'd probably like dead ass torture them, like put in the blender type. Or put in like put in the skillet and cook. <laughs> Damn, girl, you're scary. <laughs> That's really dark. It is. Um. So, <laughs> DJ, what made you want to create videos about giant women? Um. I think for me, it, it started out as as a situation where, um. I wanted to showcase women in a different form that, you know, that yes, you know, it, it is, you know, sexualized in a sense, but it's more than that. And um, I wanted to create an alternative for, for women between, you don't always have to take off your clothes to, to be, you know, glamorized. You don't have to take off, you, you don't have to do crazy things. And I think um, when I hit the, the, the giants and stuff because I didn't even know this was a thing whenever we first started and you know as, as time grew on I think we built up a, a um, you know within the giants group, we built up a family man and it's been a good situation from all, all points around because I like showcasing dominant women you know I like I feel like it's empowering to, 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 to an extent and I really um enjoy the scenario hmm. okay any movies that actually influenced you guys a bit if anything honey i shrunk the kid yeah that's just that's a classic right there <laughs> it is a gateway to many many visions and fetishes for most of us it seems yeah Okay, DJ, you were saying? No, I was just saying it definitely was. Now, this is a big question for DJ that might cause a bit of controversy, maybe a bit of fighting. Who's your favorite model? <laughs> I love all my models equal. Now... With that being said, I ain't gonna give you a PC answer. I ain't gonna do that. But with that being said, there is um, there's certain models that that I go for for a certain aspect of whatever. So if I'm if we're thinking of an all round situation from all round perspective, like who can tell a story, it would be you know Miranda. If if we're talking about a boy aspect or whatever, it would be uh, B. Um, if we're talking about maybe a glamorized uh, situation, one would be Charlie. Um, if we're yeah. talking about the girl next door, it would be Terry. You know what I'm saying? Um, a, a young, vibrant, uh, black, powerful woman, it would be uh, Princess J. I mean, the, the you know, it, it, I think I what, what, what we learned about with the Giants is is I think everybody has their own niche, and I think that's where it comes in. True. Um, and I've noticed you've started adding more ver more um diverse cast members like Yoko and Dang. So what brought that on? With um uh, uh, Yoko was actually really interesting Yoko was she came in probably maybe about six months after after we we actually started this thing but she wasn't you know around a lot to be so case she just came in as as a feature model at first and then um about maybe a year after then 
we start shooting a lot. And my ass, I'd be, I have oodles and oodles of, of editing, like footage that I haven't even edited yet. So a lot of the times when you guys see something, it, I haven't, that we probably shot, let's say we shot something, if you guys see something today, most of the time it's been probably shot about three or four months ago. Does that make sense? Yep. So, um, but I think I want to be diverse. You know, I want to, I want to be, you know, I want to have different models, different sizes, different looks, because not, not everybody's not going to go for the same thing. And I think that's where our niche has been. Um, I think a lot of people like the fact that I get everyday type of girls, if you would may know, disrespect anybody. But I think that's what works for us because these are girls that you can, like, it's not far fetched that you see them at the mall or you see them at a store or maybe you can actually have a conversation. Hmm. Okay, and what did you think of SizeCon? Oh, I, I love it. I thought it was dope. I, was virt- I, I know it was virtually, but it, it was very um, opening. You know what I'm saying? I really enjoyed the fact that we all talked about... Because besides the model, we can't talk about this with anybody. Right. And it's... It, because you want to tell people about your creative side. You want to tell people, hey, yo, this is what I think. What do you guys think about this? And I can only... I can only, you know, talk to the models about it, and, and they only have, you know, some of them only have a one perspective on it because this is their first time doing it. So a lot of times when, when I went to SizeCon, I felt very open, uh, a lot of, and it, there was no judgment, you know, saying, hey, you no, know, we like what we like, and that's what we're into, and, and that's what I enjoy. So you definitely go again, and you'd recommend it to many people? Oh, yeah. I would even recommend it even if you wasn't a part like if, even if you didn't like you know tiny people or whatever if you just had you know some type of fetish or whatever I would recommend it because it's, it's love it's, you know what I'm saying it's not like oh well you you feel this way you look like this way it's 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 real genuine care and I like the full one all right um and what kind what can people expect from the meetup on the thirtieth so. Right now, I got I got seven models. We got seven models on there. Um, got Yoko, Miranda, of course, Princess J, uh, uh, Terry. Uh, what's the other? I, I got I got too many goddamn models. Um, we got, we're gonna have Queen. We're gonna have Queen on there. We're gonna feature, feature. We're gonna have you know a good amount of models. What what we're gonna do is it's gonna be a panel and. Kind of like, you know, kind of like the, you know, with the size con, uh, how it did it, we're, we're going to kind of do it just like, you know, that people can open up to um, ask questions. Um, we're also going to see new trailers that we, you guys haven't seen before. Um, we're also going to do a director's panel, where it, 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 it's kind of just me, but um, I want to basically get a, people to have one-on-one interaction and saying, hey, what do you, you know, what what do you guys feel about this? Because you guys are a big part. Like you, you, you guys don't understand how much support you guys. Do because without any of this, none, none, without you guys, none of this is possible. So you know, I want. I'm very communicative with the people who really support the brand. And any videos in the future that you'd like to let the fans know about? Um. Right now, I got uh, I got seven new videos up on there. Um, I know it's been like you know maybe about uh, three weeks to about a month since we posted any new videos, but there's new, some new videos up on the site on giantdiscrew.com. If you want to go check that out. Okay. So, anything else you guys like to talk about? That comes to mind. Anything? Uh, Anything you think about, Maria? No, not really. Well, in that case, this has been the interview with the Giantess crew. You heard it here. They'll be having their virtual meetup on the 30th. And when does that end? That, that, it's only a one-day affair. So, um, 
August 30th, man, it starts it starts at 2 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you guys uh, uh, lock that day, uh, that time, and, and check out your local listings and stuff. 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, make sure you guys register. There's two different tiers. There's, there's a um, $25 tier, which will get you full access, and you get, you know, perks, you get, you know, free video, you know, some percentage off for your next, you know, you'll get some perks along with it. Um, and we also have a different tier for people who are, you know, who are kind of shy and don't want to show their face or whatever. There's going to be a saleable link. Now, that's only $10. You're more than welcome. I'm sorry, living in Chicago. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's $10, and you're more than welcome to, to do that option as well because we, we understand some people are very shy. You heard it here, guys, and maybe I'll show up. Maybe I'll come say hello if I have the time. So, thank you guys for coming on. It's been thank fun. You. And this has been the Film Exorcist. So, say bye, guys. Bye. Oh, yeah, Film Exorcist, man, man. You, 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 you the stuff, bro. You the stuff, man. I appreciate this, man. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, man. Thank you so much for having us on. Hope to see you guys on the show again sometime. Most definitely. You've heard it here, guys. Have a great night, and we'll see you back with the anime videos.